thanks for the coffee. Or, uh, <coughs> bedankt voor de koffie, Gunther. You speak Netherlands. That is tech heck. Have your family there. Yeah, we're done. Hazel. Hazel. Hazel, Hazel. Hey, Ross. Listen, you want to go see that new uh, IMAX movie on tide pools? Really? No. <laughs> but I got Nick's tickets for you, me, and Chandler. Huh? Sweet. All right, well, finish your coffee. Let's go. Okay, I, I just have to stop by my place first. To take the game? You do this every time, Ross. You're not going to be on TV. <laughs> no, no, I, I have to see if this apartment became available. Are you switching apartments? That's not for me, it's for Rachel. So Rachel has an apartment. Yeah, but when the baby comes, she's going to want to move. She is? Yeah. I mean, you don't expect her to live there with a baby, did you? I guess I didn't really think about it. Aesel. Hey, Gunther. You're an Aesel. <laughs> yeah, I have sex met Aesels. No, that's Pope's into a Volkswagen. <laughs> well, we're applying to a lot of them. And naturally, our first choice would be one of the bigger state zoos, you know, like uh, San Diego, oh, right? <laughs> but that may just be a pipe dream, because you know he's out of state. <laughs> uh, my, my vet uh, knows someone at Miami, so, so that's a possibility. Yeah, but that's like two blocks away from the beach. I mean, it's a total party zoo. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Hi. We found her. We found the girl. What? Did you call the cops? Nope. We took her to lunch. Ah, your own brand of vigilante justice. <laughs> well, are you insane? This woman stole from you. She, she stole. She's a stealer. You know what? After you're with this woman for like 10 minutes, you forget all that. <laughs> I mean, she is this astounding person with, with this uh, amazing spirit. Yeah, which she probably stole from some cheerleader. <laughs> Take off their hats. Pope's in a Volkswagen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that joke. Oh, Danielle, I wasn't expecting the machine. <laughs> Give me a call when you get a chance. Bye-bye. Oh, God. That's what you've been working on for the past two hours? Hey, I've been honing it. What was with the dishes? Oh, uh, I want her to think I might be in a restaurant. You know? I might have some kind of life, like I haven't been sitting around here honing for the last two hours. Look, look, he's doing it again, the guy with the telescope. Oh, my God! Oh. Go away! Stop looking in here! Great, now he's waving back. Man, we gotta do something about that guy. This morning, I caught him looking into our apartment. It creeps me out. I feel like I can leave. You guys have such a great place here. Oh, thanks. I'm crazy about our place. Hey, speaking of crazy... Do you have a history of mental illness in the family? Uh, no. Although, I did have an uncle who voted for Dukakis. That's really not the kind of thing we're looking for, Zach. Okay. So, um, so tell me, how'd you guys meet? Oh, friends first, drunk in London, you know the story. <laughs> I've got a better question for you. Do you or any of your blood relatives have diabetes? No. Uh, heart disease, Alzheimer's, gout? You guys don't have people for dinner a lot, huh? Oh, we're just making conversation. Yeah, well, okay. Oh, I heard a joke today. It's pretty funny. You know, it's not funny. Male pattern baldness. <laughs> All right, listen, you guys have shown a lot of interest in me tonight, and I'm flattered and, and quite frankly, a little frightened. Can we just talk about something else? Sure. All right, yeah. Ravioli is delicious. I notice you're enjoying that ravioli with a beautiful set of teeth. <laughs> Did you have braces as a child? No, I didn't. Yes! 
We're teeth people, Zach. <laughs> hey. 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 Is, uh, is Chandler around? No, um, he met some girl at the coffee house. Ooh. Yeah, ginger or something. No. <laughs> no, no. Uh, are you sure it wasn't something that sounded like ginger? Like, uh, uh ginger? No, it was Ginger. I remember because when he told me, I said, the movie star. <laughs> oh, man. That's the girl I was hiding from. When she finds out he's my roommate, she's going to tell him what I did. Why? What did you do? Oh, 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 no, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't tell you that. It's like the most awful, horrible thing I've ever done in my whole life. You know what? Don't tell us. We'll just wait till Chandler gets home because it, it'll be more fun that way. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, it was like four years ago. Okay, Ginger and I had gone out a few times, and then this one weekend, we went up to her dad's cabin. Just me, her, and her annoying little dog, Pepper. Well, that night, I cooked this really romantic dinner. You gave her food poisoning. I wish. After dinner, me, her, and Pepper all fell asleep in front of the fire. Well, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I saw that the fire was dying out, so... I picked up a log and threw it on. <laughs> or at least what I thought was a log. Oh, my God! You threw Pepper on the fire! I wish. <laughs> See, I guess another thing I probably should have told you about Ginger is that she kind of has a, uh, artificial leg. What did you do after you threw her leg on the fire? I ran! Oh, I got it. How about saying something like, Monica? Monica? When I look back over our time together... Yeah? I can't do everything. Look back over your time together. I don't even have one. How come they get two? You'll get one. Oh, yeah? When? All right, I'll tell you what. When we're 40, if neither of us are married, what do you say you and I get together and have one? Why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I just meant hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, why won't I be married when I'm 40? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I... no, what is it? Seriously, is there something fundamentally unmarriable about me? Uh, uh... Well... Dear God, this, this parachute is a knapsack. You think we're being obvious? No, we're just four people with neck problems who talk like this. I think it's great that you wanted to meet here. You know, when most people hear that the magazine is paying for it, they want to go to a big, fancy restaurant. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know the magazine was paying. Uh, wouldn't have mattered. I'm doing this for the fans, not for the... Free food. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um, I'll have a cup of coffee. Yeah, and uh, I'll have all the muffins. <laughs> hey! Shh, we're not talking. Ah, oh, finally. Oh. <laughs> so, according to your bio, you've done quite a bit of work before Days of Our Lives. Anything that you're particularly proud of? Oh, I love it! Really? You're not going to return it? Well, not the second. <laughs> hey, look, you guys, it's snowing. Oh. Oh, wow, it's so beautiful. Wow, it really is. Oh. <laughs> Wendy's a fat girl name. <laughs> Aren't we done with that? Okay, fine. fine. Let's talk about snow. Do you think it's snowing in Tulsa where my husband's having sex on a copying machine? Hey! Oh, my God. Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh. That's a Christmas miracle! What are you doing here? I wanted to be with you. I missed you so much. Hey, hey, uh, who'd you miss the most? Monica. Gotcha. I never want to leave you again. 
But I thought if you left, you'd get fired. Turns out they can't fire me because I quit. What? What? You, you really quit your job? Yeah, it was a stupid job, and I could not stand leaving you. And why should I be the only one who doesn't get to do what he really wants to do? Well, what do you really want to do? I have not thought this through. <laughs> Joey, got you the Joey special. Two pizzas. <laughs> Joe? Hello. Damn it. <laughs> Hello? No, Joey's not here right now, but I can take a message, I think. <laughs> He's still got a chance for the part? Oh, that's great news! Well, no, obviously not for the actor who was mauled by his dog. <laughs> oh, well, that's great. I will give Joey the message. Thank you. Yes. G. Actor. Attacked. <laughs> by dog. Not. Flowers. <laughs> hey. Please tell me you got the message. What message? The actor playing Mac couldn't do it. They needed to see you at 2 o'clock. What? It's 6 o'clock. Go, 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 I, wrote, I wrote it on the board. I wrote it on the board and then I went all over New York City looking for you. I went to Ross's. I went to the coffee house. I went to any place that they made sandwiches. I can't believe this, Chandler. Sorry, I, I, I don't know what to say. Well, you, you, you might say, congratulations. I saw the board, I went to the audition, I got the part. Is that supposed to be funny? I was really worried over here. Oh, well, I'm You know, sometimes that fake out thing is just mean. Oh, wow, okay, man, I'm sorry. I did not mean to make you feel bad. Well, that's good. Because you didn't, and I'm incredibly happy for you. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> you really had me going there. Oh, we could do this all day. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, look, let's, let's talk about what a huge star I'm going to be. You are going to be a huge star. I'm going to hug you. You hug me. All right. <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. I can't believe my brother's getting married and in London. I mean, it's just, it's so romantic. Hey, pretty smart. Tissue paper. You're at the wedding. You have to cry. Handkerchief? No, no, I got my invitation. <laughs> oh, look, isn't this adorable? Ross let Ben address mine. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, did you get your invitation to Ross's wedding? No. Oh, don't worry, man. I get to bring a guest. We'll show him. I'm so jealous you're all going. I can't believe I never knew that you can't fly in your third trimester. Well, I, I, I didn't know that. know that either. I knew that. So didn't know that, but you should see your faces. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey. 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 Thanks for hanging out. What's this? Is this Ross's wedding invitation? See, maybe that's the one we should have actually hidden. Oh, no, no, you guys, come on. You don't have to do that. I'm happy for him. I am. I really, I am, I'm, I, I'll work on it. I'm sorry, honey. Mm. You're going to come, though, aren't you? Oh, honey, I don't know. I don't know. This isn't one of those, uh, you know, she doesn't come, we, we, don't, we don't come, right? Because I already bought my ticket. <laughs> you know what would be real weird? Is if you weren't there. Just say you'll think about it, okay? No, I'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs>